power is given only to those who dare to lower themselves and pick it up. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. The folks at Unity have just released a two mini cinematic video titled Enemies and this runs in Unity, real time and of course 4K. Now this shows all of the possibilities that the folks at Unity can now offer as this is a photorealistic digital human and it embodies a whole lot of new improvements coming over to Unity 2022.2 the alpha and potentially Unity 2022.1 the beta. Now unlike the 2019 cinematic release which we saw there is a huge milestone to what this present demo actually brings to the table. Now the demo shows an advancement in some technical demonstration and this is hugely thanks to the acquisition of both Weather Digital's set of tools and Ziva Dynamics real-time set of tools. Now with that said, there's a huge set of improvement that will be coming over to Unity 2022.2 owing to multiple acquisitions over the years. Now some of these have been teased before but some of them are just outrightly brand new and these improvements ranges from high definition render pipelines all the way to GPU ray tracing system, which was introduced in Unity 2019.3. There's a new skin attachment system for facial volume hair, which would now run on GPU. And of course, there is also the advanced skin and hair simulation that is currently available during the character creation process. And just like you could work with Unreal Engine's hair, the new strand based hair system would make it even way more easier for third party DCC apps to work with. The new hair shading model in the high definition render pipeline can be compared to what you can get with offline renders like RenderMan. Currently, the new version of Unity 2022.2 has no clear definition of what the PC specs would look like, but we have our fingers crossed to actually see what this might potentially be looking like so for those who like to catch up with the GDC conference that is going on and probably you would like to see this session or maybe come back to the session sometime later you can simply go over to the link in the description and see it right here. So the session is known as the making of Unity's latest flagship demo and achievements in graphics and rendering and this is being presented by the folks at Nvidia so this demo shows all of the prowess that the folks at Unity has within their grasp. And with tools like this, it simply means that lots of people would be able to create more engaging and also high quality visuals very soon. And probably for those who like to read more about this and you would like to see some of the huge improvement and of course the processes put together to make this amazing shot, then you might want to consider coming over to link in the description and checking it out. And you might also want to take a look at some of the improvements in terms of skin, blood flow and as well the hair system like we mentioned. It's very impressive to see that the folks at Unity are using all of the tools that they got from both Ziva alongside with the tools that they got from Weta and putting these things to work. Most of the tools that was used in this demo are definitely going to make it to Unity 2022.2 and Unity 2022.1. Now for those who are wondering when can I have it, when can I get the demo file to test it, just like the demo file that was released in 2019, the folks at Unity are promising that in a month or two this is definitely going to be available and at the same time there is also going to be a release package that contains the strand hair based system that will be available on GitHub as well. And this is for them to get feedbacks and polish upcoming updates for future and also official release. So it now looks like Unity has now gotten to that point of equality with Unreal Engine in terms of visuals. Now we knew that all of this was going to happen with the acquisition of Ziva and also Weta Digital. But we just didn't know exactly when it was going to happen. So this is more like a game on for both Unreal Engine and Unity. And I will enjoy watching how virtual production and the development of high quality photorealistic characters. I mean, look at how much quality that this has. You can see all of the things that has been put together. And this wasn't something that was available a couple of years ago. Now this simply means that photorealistic characters is something that artists will be able to work with in game engines like Unity and probably create in the coming years. So for anyone who would like to read up on any of the things that we've talked about, links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section, huge shout out to all of the creators that made this possible and of course if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.